My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, a blessed Laitare Sunday. It is the fourth Sunday of Lent and uh, usually Laitare is rejoice. That is the English term rejoice coming from Isaiah 66 verses 10 to 11. Bakit po Laitare? Kung titingnan po natin kapag Advent, di ba may Gaudete, rejoice then. Yun yung third uh, Sunday of Advent uh, before the fourth Sunday and then Christmas Day. No? Uh, parang sinasabi, pag Advent, third Sunday, Gaudete, malapit na po yung araw ng Pasko. Ngayon naman, pag uh, fourth Sunday of Lent, parang malapit na rin po yung uh, Easter Sunday, no? yung uh, araw ng Pasko ng pagkabuhay. As we all know, uh, we just have to extend another uh, more than a week and then uh, we look at the uh, Holy Week and then we have the celebration of the Paschal Triduum. No? Kaya parang, kita niyo po, yung suot po ng mga pare, kalimitan, it's either violet but the option also is a rose vestment. No? Uh, it gives the mood of rejoicing. They say it's like a rest pit also. No? Uh, kasi siyempre, pag, pag violet, uh, alam naman natin, this is really a time no, when uh, uh, the holy season of Lent is in a moment of trying to uh, come back to the Lord. And then, but the rejoicing also is the realization uh, that uh, the Lord uh, has is really moving from the experience of suffering death to life. No? Having said that, maganda pong makita kasi na ito pong uh, mga readings po natin uh, seems to give some sort of uh, contraposition against the theme of laitare or rejoicing. Kasi ang theme ay darkness, blindness, di ba? But I think you will see later on that the movement is light, moving to light, moving to being able to see amidst darkness, going to light. In our first reading, we're able to start off with the blindness of uh, Jesse. Diba? Si Samuel uh, was looking for the, anoint, the one whom he will anoint and what happened was, uh, maraming anak si Jesse. No? Iba-iba, may magagandang lalaki, matitipuno ang katawan. Pero sabi niya, hindi dito sa mga ito. No? And you heard the words, no? Kasi parang hindi niya malam. Ah, meron pa pala siyang isa, no? Sabi niya, tinanong kasi, di ba ni Samuel, meron ko pa bang anak? No? Um, ay, o nga pala, meron pa. Parang hindi, parang nakaligtaan niya kasi para sa kanya, uh, yung, yung anak na yon parang hindi dun sa ranking niya. Kaya, oh, I have someone, David. No? He's a shepherd boy. Kaya nga, diba, sabi, uh, not as man sees, does God see. No? Man sees the appearance, but the Lord looks into the heart. Alam naman natin ang kwento. Si David pala yung anointed, na, na, siyang nakatalo kay Goliath, no? and he, he became... Uh, the king, no? King David of Israel. No? Um, and then, our second reading also talks of our own blindness. Though the letter of Paul was addressed to the community of Ephesus, no? but he was speaking here also of something that we can uh, touch base with. No? Kasi, ganda na sinabi din niya, no? parang, you have been blinded by the darkness of sin. But God enlightened you and you became children of light. At ito din yung hamon sa atin, di ba? Uh, tayo din, nabubulag, nasa kadiliman ng kasalanan, pero tayo ay uh, hinahamong maging uh, mga anak ng liwanag. So you see, that's basically the, the movement. And here, our uh, gospel text, I read the long form no? because um, it's good to look at that narrative later on after the Mass. I invite you to 
go to John 9 and reflect on this scripture text kasi ang dami pong insight, no? very rich. No? Um, uh, this is Jesus healing the man who was blind since birth. No? Alam mo, pag meron kang kapansanan, no? even in that uh, uh, Jewish culture, sa pagkakasilang, parang, parang bang sinumpa ka. That's why that, that treatment is like this blind man was cursed and he is unclean. He is unhealthy compared to the healthy. Kaya nasa isang tabi. And you will see here, and I'd like to point out, that's why it's good to reflect that, that as Jesus was passing by, there was this blind man, and he was the one who approached the blind man and healed him. That's why it's all the initiative of Jesus. And I'd like to draw our attention to this movement. You know, many times when you try to look at, you know, uh, our frailties, our infirmities, meron tayong sakit, may kakulangan tayo, may pangangailangan tayo, tayo yung pumupunta sa Diyos, tapos hinihiling natin, Lord, gawin mo na ang lahat, pagalingin mo ko. Ito, kakaiba ito eh, no? Kasi siyempre nga naman, helpless ka eh. Ang Panginoon ang pumunta. Now, I'd like you to see this given what's happening to us right now and see that as we are in our homes, given this quarantine period, all over the world, we have this lockdown. It is the Lord in His initiative going to us, approaching us. Kasi wala tayong magawa, parang kumbaga we are we are stoned. Sabi nga, no? parang paralyzed tayo. Hindi tayo makagalaw eh. Hindi tayo makalabas. Ang Panginoon ang pumupunta sa atin. And I'd like to look at the narrative of this gospel text and invite you to see how the Lord goes to us and heals us of our own blindness or perhaps gives us light given the darkness we are experiencing. And I'd like to spot out four, no? four items here. Usually ako, alam nila, three points, pero ngayon, four points. No? Yung una po, no? how did the Lord in His initiative heal the blind man? Natural way. Di ba? He got clay, earth, nasa lupa, Mud, put saliva, galing sa kanya, no? and then used it. And then afterwards, he said, even in a natural way, go to the pool of Siloam, wash. Naisip ko tuloy, di ba? Paulit-ulit na lang, importante yung hand washing, di ba? Maghugas kamay kayo, nakakaligtaan natin yung mga natural way, no? na kailangan para not only to clean us, but to protect us from this virus. Parang totoo totoo Si Christ mismo pinapaalalanan sa importante yan. But I think, when you try to look at the symbolism here, going to the pool of Siloam and washing inside the water, as He instructed the blind man, ha? Huh? Hindi ko lang alam kung anong ginawa niya, kung naligo siya o naghilamos lang siya. Um, it is symbolic of baptism. Because that's the movement of the, East, the Lenten season going to Easter. To make us get a grip of the gift of baptism. That's why we are able to experience the divinity of God. Ang magandang makita po ito. Kasi, ba kasi uh, when we were born in this world, there was basically darkness. But because of baptism, uh, we were given this great gift, washing away original sin and having new life in God. If you want to put it, new life in Christ. Ang maganda po yung unang yan. No? That's how the Lord, the Lord in His initiative, uh, 
even from our birth. Kaya maganda to eh, no? The man, ginamit nga eh, no? Since birth. And since our birth, the Lord made sure through the waters of baptism, when we were baptized, no? we will already receive this new life from God and assured of God's kingdom. Second, no? How did the how did the Lord heal this man? He used his words. Diba? Uh, he said, go. Do this. And you will see even uh, throughout the narrative, it's always the conversation with the Lord. No? Uh, very clear here. No? The, um, even when the Lord confronts uh, confronted him. Do you believe his words? And the response, I do believe. No? So you see, all the instructions coming from the lips of Jesus. I'd like to point out, it is God's word right now that gives light amidst darkness. Tuwang ko lang po, no? Uh, nandiyan po tayo sa ating mga tahanan. Ito ngayon, may misa po tayo. The liturgy of the word enlightens us. Baka this is an opportunity for you to not only read but contemplate on the word of God. Open your Bibles. No? Because this is uh, a way that we can actually get out of this darkness, whatever we're feeling. The word brings consolation and light to us. And that's the Word of God. It's Jesus speaking to us. Third, no? um, maganda po yung narrative kasi yung mga Pharisees, napaka-critical, di ba? Sabi niya, oh, iniwala ka ba dyan? Hinil ka? But, pero kung talagang totoong propeta yan, eh bakit hinil ka during a Sabbath? Bumanat pa yung mga Pharisees, eh, no? Hindi mo dapat uh, paniwalaan niyan. Kasi vina-violate niya yung Sabbath. You know, the word Sabbath, Sabbath in Hebrew, it actually means to stop, to cease. Kaya di ba day of rest? I'd like to look at our experience now, sort of in darkness, as an experience of Sabbath. And the Lord working in and through us during this Sabbath experience. Magandang makita yun eh. Um, pag, uh, di naman natin sinadya ito. Kaming mga pare, madre, no, mga ibang lay servants. We want to take a moment to go on recollection and retreat our sort of extended Sabbath experience. Pero sabi nga nila, ang Sabbath natin, parang ito Sunday, the Lord's Day, di ba? It's actually not only rest and relaxation day, but a vacation with the Lord. Can you look at this quarantine period as an experience of Sabbath? But it's not that you're doing nothing. But it is a vacation with the Lord and the Lord doing something for you, enlightening you, strengthening you, making you think, feel, and do something for Him and for people around you in your home. Baka nga, di ba? Fourth and final insight. How did Jesus heal? Jesus healed through His presence. It's the Lord really before Him. No? Telling Him, telling this blind man, here I am. Maganda nga po yung ano eh, no? yung pagpapagaling dun sa blind man. Sa unang tingin, ang, ang, ang pwedeng insight natin, 
hindi siya makakita kasi born blind siya tapos nakakita. Biglang nakakita. Pero alam nyo, yung pagkita niya, his seeing was gradual. Why? Because it's not about him seeing the light, seeing what's around him. It is seeing Jesus. Hindi niyo nabatsin, di ba, nung una, tinanong siya, oh, sino, sino, sino ba yung uh, nagpagaling sa'yo? He is a man. Di ba yung una? And then biglang sumunod, He is a prophet. Di ba, paunti-unti eh. Tapos mapapansin nyo, no? Abay, kumuha pa ng mga alipores, pati magulang ginamit pa, natakot naman yung mga magulang. Ano ba, witness, di ba? O, pero sa bandang huli, nakaharap na si Jesus sa kanya. Now I know you're not just a man. Now I know you're not just a prophet. I know you are He. You are the Messiah, the divine healer. You are God. Where is that presence that heals us amidst darkness? The Eucharist we celebrate. Sa Eucharistiya, ramdam natin ang banal na presensya ng Diyos. And even though this is celebrated online for most, no, realize that the Lord's initiative is very real. Tawag nga po, live stream. Di ibig sabihin, nangyayari. Hindi lang basta recorded live stream as you're celebrating together with me. And the Eucharist you will receive even in spiritual communion is the great testimony of how much God loves us and wants to bring us light amid darkness. Kaya alam nyo, kita nyo yung, yung gospel natin mahaba, medyo hinabaan ko ng konti yung reflection natin, pero ang dami pong sinasabi. No? If I may summarize nung una, liwanag po, no? Given the Lord's initiative, He uses the natural way to bring us to light. He uses the earth, clay, and of course, water. Don't forget the importance, not only the washing of hands to clean us, but the washing because of the waters of baptism. Second, Jesus takes his in, the initiative to heal us and get, get us out of darkness because of His Word. It's happening now. I invite you. Open your Bibles. Let God's Word bring light not only to your mind, not only to your heart, but to your life. And third, the Sabbath. This quarantine period, is a Sabbath experience. And the Lord is working in the Sabbath. He wants to touch our hearts and invites you to touch others' hearts in your home. And fourth, Jesus' presence is very real in the Eucharist we celebrate in your spiritual communion. How much He loves us. You know, I'd like to end with this. No, Baka, uh, I got this from another... Uh, renowned spiritual writer, Richard Rohr. Uh, ang ganda na sabi niya, no? sabi niya, experiences of darkness are good and necessary teachers. They are not to be avoided, denied, and run from. Maganda pong pag-isipan. Baka ito pong nangyayari sa ating darkness, may itinuturo sa ating buhay. Maganda ding isipin. Baka may itinuturo ito tungkol sa ating relasyon sa Diyos. Baka may tinuturo si Jesus sa atin sa gitna ng dilim ng quarantine para mapalalim natin ang relasyon sa Diyos sa ating mga mahal sa buhay, sa kapwa. Para lalo nating hindi lang maunawaan, kundi 
maisabuhay ang kanyang pag-ibig. 